Hello everyone. So <clears throat> before we actually like go into the press and hold uh, pickup systems for doors and other things, uh, I think it would be better if we actually work on the aim offset. So our flashlight actually <clears throat> uh, moves along with our camera. So for that, uh, we need actually animations for that offsets but uh, since we do not have those animations will make make it using the control rig so we already have the horror over here so just go up over here and open up the horror sequence from there and delete anything if you have something over here I don't so and from there what I'll do is I'll put in the animation itself you can go ahead and put it and I'll put it down here like this and from here you can see we already have a control rig over here what I'm gonna do is delete this control rig okay so delete it and make sure it's in the base pose over here like this and also make sure that this should be at zero zero okay so just make click on this to bring it to zero 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 everywhere so it says over here zero 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 uh, now what I'll do is click on the animation flashlight and add it over here so this one should be exactly at the end if it is not just pull it and make make sure it gets over there and you can scroll this one to make it see much better so now once that is done what we can do is uh, we can right click on the mesh skeletal mesh and we'll bake to control rig you uh, use the CR mannequin body and reduce keys and create and as you can see we have the control rig now for this one so what we want to do is just get this one over here and this one minus 70 should be for our um, uh, above I guess which should be fine so right click on the skeletal mesh again and bake animation sequence and under horror you can just keep it under horror we'll call it uh, anim offset underscore cu for center up press ok export to animation and let's see uh, wait it did not work All right okay never mind uh, actually it's a good thing we just have this so I'll just have it under CC which is good and I will actually like put it minus 70 again and make sure my body the it is keyed over here actually we have to key it at all frames Um, actually delete these you don't need that key and even at the very end at 15 come to 15 and key it over here like this so at all the positions it is keyed to the above position and now we'll bake animation sequence and this one would be our AO underscore CU and this one expose and this one should be where did I put it now browse it right under meshes so I'll just put it under back to horror where it should be I'll create a new folder over here I'll call it M offset put the CU and CC over there and now the last part is the part remaining 
so let's go back and for this part what we would do is get this one and this one should be at 100 should be enough and we will key it now over here and again same thing at the go 15 and key it again okay now again right click on it bake animation sequence go to keep it under horror we'll call it ao underscore cd and that would be enough for us okay um where is it under characters queen did we not change our character position i'll delete this one actually the queen from here yes delete it since we are done um save everything i'll press f8 go out and check this third person blueprint where is it browse it is under horror okay i'm blind actually but anyway so as i was saying uh um in uh, if we had it where is rotation yeah if we had it under orient rotation to movement yeah then it would be much different than what we ha have it right now mm. so in that uh, case we would require for even the left and the right for those kind of um, animation we would require the aim offset for left and right as well but for now we don't need it so what I'll do is open up the aim offset select these three I will go to asset actions bulk edit via property matrix and go to was it additive settings yes local space base selected animation frame and bo base uh, pose animation click on this one pick asset and click on this one now from here save all which should be fine and now i can come back here go to right click and go to animation and anime offset 1d and this one would be the mannequin so i'll call it aim offset underscore flash light so over here um in the center so in the asset details we should have this one as um, this one yeah it would be pitch okay your main sight left to right so this one would be our pitch and this one minimum would be minus 90 to 90 snap to grid warp input should be fine so cc should be in the middle uh, okay this won't actually do additive invalid additive type okay so i did some mistake additive type should have been i guess go to bulk edit again additive settings should be mesh space i guess save all um, go back and cc put it over here and yeah see now you can put it see down should be on this side and upper should be on this side so you can see over here hands above over here it's below so seems fine so what we'll do is uh, now go to the animation graph over here so abp mani we were using it and from here we should go to the event graph first and character we're using many right even i forgot which animation we're using so yeah the this one is the parent one so what i'll do is i'll just delete this one and i'll cast it 
to the BP third person character change this one over here as well BP third person character change variable type so now compile and everything seems to be working fine it should be fine because we haven't started adding other specific character specific uh, variables over here so now we can actually make the get the character here make sure this is valid actually it's all we already checked it so you don't need to but actually yeah i don't need to i won't do it it looks much cleaner this way so from here i'll get a flashlight no no not has flashlight it should um, turn on flashlight so yeah we'll require um, another it's the infantry I'll put it on the booleans I'll duplicate this one I'll call it B uh, duplicate is short duplicate shortcut is control D okay so I'll name this B using flashlight so this one should be true and this one should be false okay so let's go back over here and using flashlight and I'll promote this to a variable and put it like this Uh, and now let's go to the anim graph over here mm, you can have the aim offset but again uh, equipment blend cache is there so equipment blend from here I'll have two of these and we'll have blend by blend poses by bull so if this was true I should add the animal offset sorry I should have it over here base pose put it to true false it should be here and from here we'll create a new cache this one would be flash light AO and I can call it flashlight AO from here uh, use cache flashlight AO so also we require the pitch right since uh the pitch will depend or allow us to understand how much the animation should uh, rotate based on that so what we'll do for that is um we'll come over here this is actually unreal engine's documentation on uh creating an aim offset so just make sure it's 5.0 so release yeah um so from here you can actually get the idea for how to create it for the basic pack but we only require the code for getting the pitch from here so as you can see it says uh, how to create um the pitch from the event graph so we require one variable that would be our pitch and from the and we'll get the control rotation and the get actor rotation and from these two we'll get a delta rotator so it will rotate get the final rotation based on 
uh, so let's say our actor rotation is uh, in front and we are using the delta rotator to check how much it should actually rotate the arm depending on our camera's current location so from there we'll get the target and our current would be actually uh, whatever pitch we have at this point your your should be doesn't matter to be honest what our yaw is and uh, then we need to clamp it from the return value and then we'll just set it to as the pitch so let's go ahead and try to do that so let's go to the event graph and i'll create another one over here so the first thing was to get the character we'll get the control rotation from him and we'll also get the actor rotation and from these we'll also get a delta rotator so if you put on top of it it will say it normalizes a and b together and from here uh, we can actually uh, interpret okay so let's go ahead and interpret this will be our target and for this current we can make rotator and our pitch would be will promote it to variable and this one would be our pitch mm, we don't need it like that so pitch yeah there we go and this time would be get world delta seconds and interp speed can be 15 so from here i can split this one and like i said it will be clamped flow clamped angle sorry from minus 90 to 90 and from there we can actually just set it to the pitch like this and then we'll just plug it in like this and this should actually give us the pitch that we need over here I'll just put it in like this so now if I'm to play now my hand doesn't go over there like right now but um, even now as you can see it's not actually working properly so let's see let's debug a bit what's wrong with this and yeah we did not set this value so this value would be this using flashlight so once we are using the flashlight it should be set to true and it, and you can see as it is now it is actually moving our hand depending on our so now you can see uh, I'll actually like put it on a bit bigger like this so if I'm to pick it up and now I go to this wall for a better now press F now I go below as you can see my hands going down I go above as you can see my flashlight is actually like going down and above see so it's working as you can see above below you can actually like have the anim offset a bit better of your choice otherwise just buy a pack with a good anim offset with for these <coughs> for flashlight and stuff like that so but in general this is the idea for how the aim, so aim offsets work okay and in our next lecture we'll actually continue with our press and hold for our pickup system Thank you guys and I will see you in the next lecture.